Hi everyone. I'm reviewing the Luxonic light strip that 32.8 feet long and contains 600 LEDs. It comes with your controller. Uh, instructions for the controller that are of course microscopic. The roll of 600 lights, the power supply, and the uh, IR receiver which all gets plugged in together. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that when you have IR as your receiver and for your remote, you need to have direct line of sight so that the IR is exposed and the controller can connect to it. If your receiver is behind anything, it's not going to be able to communicate with your controller. So now I'm going to hook everything together and give you a little bit of a demonstration. Okay, so now I have everything together. A little bit of an explanation about the controller. You have uh, buttons that you can increase or decrease the amount of lighting or how bright it is. Red, green, blue uh, for the colors that you choose and then different combinations of the colors and you have the quick slow for increasing flash fade and jump or you you can uh, make it quicker slower and then you can choose to flash the fade three and seven fade three fades three different lights fade seven fades seven different lights and same for jump three jump seven it's three lights and seven lights. Okay, one thing I do like about this set of LED lights that some aren't always the same is that your LEDs are close together where I've seen it that they are not close together so um, you get a lot more spacing between. So now we're going to go ahead and or first of all I'll show you how we connected this. You connect your power supply and then plug it in as would be expected and then you take this plug and plug it into your IR controller and you plug this into the light. One thing you have to be careful of is in plugging in the light and I don't know if you can see it but there's little arrows on here and you have to make sure that the arrows are pointing toward each other otherwise the lights won't work. So here we go. I'm going to turn them on and I have to have this pointed again to the IR. Uh, right now we've got came on automatically with a jump but we're going to go with red, green, I have to put this where it's so the IR controller isn't terribly responsive on this, so I have to have it where it's really pointing right to it. That's green, uh, blue, a couple different shades. This would be a lighter red. This is more toward the orange, and this is more toward the yellow. And then you've got the, the different colors, you know, with the red, blue, green. So you can change your colors that way. You can get into your flash. It's going to flash the colors. You can make them faster. You make them very fast and then you can slow them down. You make them pretty slow. Uh, fade, again, shows three different colors. It's fading between uh, green, blue, and red. So this again, you can go quick fade, so it almost gets into a flash effect, or you can slow it down. Okay, fade seven, flashes between seven different colors. Okay, and then you can get into the jump. And what the jump does is it just jumps between the different colors instead of fading them in and out. And the jump seven is the same thing. It'll jump between different colors. So you can adjust it or you can pick your own colors and set them up in the DIY. But one thing I wanted to mention is on these lights, you can see that every LCD is lit. Every time I press a color, every LCD is lit or LED. 
Um, I have had strips, and I don't think they specify that they do this, but I have had strips that each LED was for one color. So say you chose red, every third light would be red. Or if you chose blue, every third uh, light would be blue. And for green, same thing. So I'm not sure how you'd know at the time you're ordering unless somebody in the review specifies that the light strip does that. But this particular light strip, every single uh, LED lights the color that you choose. So I really like that about it. The only thing that you have to really be careful of, as I mentioned before, is this receiver has to be where it's not blocked and directly con communicating with your remote. So, for example, if I take my remote and push it so it's off to the side, see, no response. No response at all. I have to have it pointed directly at the... The receiver. So that's something to consider when you're setting these up. The other thing I'd like to mention is that these do have uh, a backing on them where you can stick it onto things. For the most part, in my experience, they don't hold real well. So depending on your application, you may have to use a double-sided sticky tape. Uh, sometimes with the metal, if you were to put it on metal, it'll stick pretty well. If you put it on a porous surface, naturally it won't. So depending on what surface you're going to be sticking these onto, that can make a big difference. So I hope this review was helpful for you, and thank you for watching.